Oh, he's got one already. This one says It's Miller. the day after Christmas, and now we're doing Miller another Christmas. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, what did, we, what did we get? It's a new car. I hope so. It's one we need it's, it's one. Door. Okay. I hope it's, it's the, the door to the Lexus refrigerator. <laughs> this is what we've been given. Can you see it? Look it's a little this. shelfy cabinet-y thing. Oh, isn't that nice? Ooh. There's a present about the same size, Ellie, Can somebody oh, free oh, us? I almost Can somebody it. please oh, take this off of us? For Ellie, it was more cold. Take it, so this piece of furniture off of us? <laughs> no. Okay. We'll get it out after dinner. We'll it's see what very, we can do. Okay, Millie, we're opening a present for you. Yeah. Let's see what you got. It said Ellie. Oh, peanut it's butter okay. biscuits. Doggy delirious peanut butter bones. Wow. This is. We're at my mom's tonight. It's the day after Christmas, and this is our bed. Isn't that cute? Oh, Millie. That pillow used to be in my room when I was a kid. It's made out of ribbons. Mm, really and now awesome. my puppy is sleeping on it. It's lovely. Good night, Millie. I guess we'll sleep on the floor. <laughs> Don't want to disturb you. One of the nice things about my mom's house, which is a very nice house, Really likes it here. Is the hot tub. Hot tub brigade. Look at my slippers. Millie will love them when she notices that I'm wearing my mom's puppy slippers. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to show you the hot tub. My brother and my stepson are in it, and my mom. Hot tubbers. It's kind of. Uh, nice thing to do after a run. Jim and I just went for a run this morning. <laughs> it's like it was made for you to play with, isn't it? Okay, so I'm. I had promised that I would show you my uh, compression sleeve thing. This is it. Um, my arm has been sort of off and on swollen. Not really, really bad, but it's been pretty noticeable. But right now, it's good. But I wanted to show it to you. How this thingy my jig works. So let me put it on, then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the sleeve. I just, you can see, it's just a thing. It's like a piece of hose up my arm. Mine happens to be black. And my insurance actually covered me having two of them, but I can't find the other. I never thought I'd ever have to wear this thing. But it actually seems like it makes a difference, so... So there it is. It's a little bit tight. It's not all that uncomfortable. Um, I've been wearing it off and on the last few days. This porridge well, is just no. right. <laughs> the steam was already there. David, good, just work it. Feel free. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's Aiden. Oh, wait, he waved, but Hello. I turned. <laughs> We're going to the movies. It's a date. So Aiden and I went to see the second Sherlock Holmes movie. I didn't even know that there was a second or a first until he said that's the one he wanted to see. And actually I had been promising to take him to the movies, my nephew, for um, years, yeah, years. So it was, we had fun. Going to a party. <laughs> We're going to a party. <laughs> it's New Year's Eve Eve. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we're going to celebrate that. Goodbye, computer. We'll see you later. I'll miss you. So we're, ooh, I just dropped, uh, just dropped my hat in the sink. Oh well. So I wasn't really wanting to go to this party, I'll admit it, but I pulled it together. I even put on earrings. That's really saying something. 
I never do that. So the reason that I didn't really want to go to this party was that, first of all, I was tired, but when we took a nap, that helped. And then second of all, because I've had one of those days, which whether or not you've had but ever been diagnosed with cancer, I think you can relate. But in this particular case, it's one of those days where I got something tripped the wire and I started to worry about the cancer coming back and I started thinking about all the things I want to do in my life, you know, like, or maybe do in my life, but I, I have always have the flash go through um, of, but what if, but what if the cancer comes back? And I'm, you know, there's, I can feel <laughs> some of you wanting to tell me, you just can't go there, but you can't help it. You go there, and even if you suppress it, it's it's exhausting. And there are times when people will say, how are you? And the first thing that comes to mind is blurting all that stuff. And the thought of going to a party with all that stuff in my mind felt exhausting and not like fun at all. So when Jim really wanted to go, I just burst into tears. <laughs> After that, I felt better, and I said, okay, give me a few marriage points for this, and I'll go. Because he'll go to anything to support me readily, and, and I tend to be not as generous. I will say that myself. You've never said that to me, but I will say it myself. I tend to be not as generous. So I'm giving myself a pat on the back. Thank you very much. Why, thank you. And for those of you keeping score at home... <laughs> <laughs> That's two for Amy. Thank you. <laughs> this is the party. It's rocking. We're leaving the party. It's too dark. It's too dark to see us, really, but we're leaving the party. We had fun. <laughs> We're meeting some people for a bike ride. It is New, New Year's, Year's Eve. Year's Eve. It's crazy that we can get out on our bikes outside at this time of year. That looks like Charlie. Even from this distance, I'm thinking that's Charlie. This guy's uh, driving a bike. It's funny how you get to know people by the way they pedal <laughs> and the shape of their butts. <laughs> There are people that I've seen in street clothes and not known who the heck they are, but I know them by their butt and the way their knees stick out or don't stick out while they're riding. Somebody else has arrived on as a male figure. Who's that? I wonder. So be, uh, is it Greg? I feel like we're being wimpy now that we rode our car down to the <laughs> starting point. Wait, where are you going? That's usually where we park is over on the other side. You can't go around. Well, maybe you can go around. Uh. So it's New Year's Eve. We're going. We've done all of our chores. We've walked the dog. We've gotten our exercise. We've eaten some food. We haven't done any house cleaning or anything. But it's a vacation day. We got all the important stuff done. This is what I want. Not the oh. um, Oops. And now we're going to go out. Nobody's going to stay home though. He's going to celebrate New Year's. Millie, what's your New Year's resolution? She's thinking about it. She's thinking less ball, more tree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! You're nipping my shoes. Well, <clears throat> I think this year she's her New Year's resolution is this year I'm gonna get a squirrel. Squirrel. Looks kind of crowded in there. Yes, it does. Time to say Happy New Year to the world. Happy New Year, world. Happy New Year. 
I usually would show you our dinner, but we didn't have a good restaurant experience last night. Yeah, disappointing. Yeah. The service was quite hor horrendous, and the food was too. And it's a place. The below. food, the service was, but the food was, it was below, what we know below par. Yeah. And um, and we were seated in like the middle of like between basically between the kitchen and every table in the restaurant. So we were basically in this whirlwind of waiters running by us, and and it was very hard to relax. So I didn't turn the camera back on while we were there. We spent like half an hour waiting for a glass of water. Well, we spent like 20 minutes waiting for anyone to acknowledge that we were, that they were our waiter. And then another half an hour ask, until we finally had to ask for our water. <laughs> I was thirsty. Um, so that's the kind of night it was. So they had a busy night at that restaurant. We'll go there again. We'll give them another chance, but not soon. <laughs> Thanks for the toast. Okay. Yes, from my pooch. I'm letting the world pet you through my hand. Everyone can pretend that they're the ones petting Millie. Mm -hmm. The whole YouTube world is giving you a good scratch, Millie, right on the top of the head. Oh, they're done now because their oatmeal is warmed up. <laughs>